What it up, peeps? Before I start the video, as promised, I told you guys I was gonna feature at least one or two of you a week in the videos for sending me photos of you wearing the merch. So if you wanna be featured, do not forget to send me your photo. And please stay till the very end of this video because there's some really cool footage in this house that was really old and I just want you guys to see it. So stay tuned, I love you. Last week, I told you I was gonna be a little more personal in the vlogs and take you around. I'm with my cousin, I'm in a carpet store. I'm helping her figure out what carpet to pick. She's embarrassed because I picked all of this out. I kept going and taking and taking. It was perfectly vacuumed. I know, she's embarrassed because I made a mess. There's like all this like this carpet crumbs all over the floor. <laughs> Did I really embarrass you that day? No. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm helping you because you're too shy to ask. This is interesting that I think you guys would love to hear. Well, don't put me on there. Wait, hi. <laughs> She's being shy. Um, <laughs> I'll end up having an accident. Well, don't look. All right, guys, then I'll film just myself. Also, this is another thing for you guys to know. It's hard for me to film everything I do now because a lot of people don't want to be on camera, and I respect that. I definitely don't want to be on camera. Well, I mean, what, now you tell me this, I filmed with you. Am I allowed to talk about why I'm helping you so, so much? Because most people wouldn't do this for somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a bad thing. It could be inspirational to someone, like, wow, like, that's interesting. Yeah. She had a concussion recently, and to be honest with you, I didn't know that when someone has a concussion that it could be long-lasting. I always thought, like, oh, if football players get concussions and then they bounce back, they're back in the game. But I didn't realize that people can have a concussion and they have longer-term effects. She gets constant headaches. It's harder to focus on paperwork and stuff like that, and I'm just trying to help her. Like, you feel good? It's helping. We're going to stop into one more store to check her. Did I embarrass you this time? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, do you have a bag too? And he's like, I have to charge you two fifty for the bag. He's we just joking. Really up. Really he just told me that my mom would have probably felt strange about me vlogging. She was in private. It would have been a big adjustment, I think, at first. Do you think she would have like not wanted me to do it, or she just would be cautious of me doing it? I think she would have been concerned. I mean, I think she'd be like really proud of you. All of us are kind. Private. Yeah, I guess and so. Like, Actually, that's I know your mom was like especially very private. Was she? Yes. Really? I think you still are in some ways. Having this whole side of you out in the open. <laughs> it's just a little surprise. You know, like tons of people are on Instagram every day. Yeah. Everybody. I still don't get it though. <laughs> <laughs> the younger generation is constantly filming every single thing they do. Today's a different day. I'm with my cousin Evan. This is Arlene's son, and I'm helping him move. I don't want you yeah. to move, Evan. I'm gonna miss you. He's the one who always would watch the cats. Yep. And now I don't really have a cat sitter, so I'm kind of screwed. But he's moving to San Francisco, so I will be visiting you. You can bring the cat. That would be really difficult, but I, I'll visit you, I promise. We're here in his house trying to move all the stuff. We're making progress. <laughs> I need to bring the TV out. Crazy. We just got three TVs this isn't in there. Gonna fit though. No, this we have oh. to move that, but that's okay. insane. I didn't yeah. think we were gonna get all three TVs. Arlene's here with me again. <laughs> I'm not helping though. It's okay. It's well you can't. Can. You can't help. This is so embarrassing, but I'm, they're getting rid of this. I'm like, wait, should I take this for New York whenever I move there? What if I have really heavy stuff to carry? <laughs> I don't know. I, I look like an old lady. Like, I think you need to give it the know. sidewalk test. I don't know. I feel like this is Oh, no, it's gonna be great. You should definitely take it. I know it's so stupid. Nah, I'm gonna carry it. Oh no. I'm just trying to I'm not old. I think it's not a matter of old. This is the 120 pound test. Well, at least we know that it's heavy weight. Whoa! Are you gonna go over it? I'm gonna go over. How funny would be she probably will do it. Oh no, what if she gets hurt? videos that ever happened was at Arlene's house <laughs> and now it's like we're about to make another accidental viral video <laughs> girl falls out of shopping cart in the city <laughs> Michelle's like cracking up like, Hi. <laughs> it's just testing the weight all right yep it's good <laughs> it's 
good. This house is probably from the 1800s, potentially, right, Evan? We don't know. It could, it be, could be from the, because look, this is so crazy. Look at this stove. This is in the basement, by the way, and and they didn't really use this room, but this is this is an old old school kitchen. So what under these? There's a fire. There's a there's a fire that goes up, and then what they hang, people would hang their. This is an old old school pot. Like this is how they made food back in the day. Isn't that, oh my God, it's so heavy. Yeah, it's like, But that's an old, can you shine the light in there? Yeah. Look at that, that's insane. That's yeah, how they made food. Yeah, food in it. And then these are like those old school bottles. Atlas jars. I don't know if those are old. They look old. But this candle. And that's right? an old candle. Yeah, that was all here. That's so cool. What is this though? Look at this old thing. Oh, Moths and moth worms. It reminds me of- I hope there's not bugs in there. This <laughs> is an old fire extinguisher. Oh, oh my God, I've never seen, seen this stuff. before. That's cool. And then the old house for sale. What's the point of these stairs though? Well, they used to go outside. The kitchen above you is an addition. Oh. So this used to be the way out. What is this old stuff? An old like chandelier with ram's ears. Are these real, Evan? Yeah, ram's horn chandelier. Is it like real ram's horn? How else would you get those? I don't know. Maybe someone made it, like a fake one. They don't look fake. Wow, that's, feel it. that's cool. Feel like real? I don't know what a real. I never felt a ram's things. <laughs> ram's horns. Oh, look at this old box. Hold on, guys. I'll show you this. Oh my God, look. There's all this old cool stuff. I don't know. It's just like old supplies. I know. There's like a big saw. This is probably worth money. What is it? It's just like old screws and stuff, but stuff that you would never see nowadays. Here's just a little crack. I think the Rams ones are more interesting than the screws. I know, but it's just, it's kind of cool to see this stuff. Is this a makeup brush? Might be. Look oh, at their old oh, school oh, fork shoes. things. Wow. For lunch? Is this a lunch box? So a bunch of cobwebs and there's dead bugs on them. Oh. Look. Oh. Look at these tools. Oh yeah, the old tools are really Look cool. Look at these. Is it really that old? Oh yeah. my god, it's, how do you work with this? It's like 10 well, pounds. Old. They're like it's an old really monkey, old monkey rusty, but wow. old. Guys, where right can we sell this stuff? I need to know, this is worth so much yeah, money. Yeah, we need to know in like the next few hours. I know, we need to know like immediately. <laughs> Like this has got to be worth something. It, like they don't even make this crap anymore. Are these old mugs oh too? What are they made out yeah. of? Do you guys want to? It's, yeah, so, oh. it's so funny how it's old kitchens used to. Yeah. This is no, so. No. Do you guys think this is cool? <laughs> Seriously, like, like this is an old kitchen. It's insane. In the basement. So this is also a different kitchen in the house. Yeah, later. How did this work? There was a door on here. I could see. Yeah, this is like an old oven, built-in oven. They would have coal or wood under there and then it would heat up here and they would have trays across like metal wire oh, across I see. and they can cook right in there. Wow, that's interesting. This is my cousin Julie. She just showed up. This is Evan's sister and she's helping also. Oh, Roz might want that. This bag. It's been a busy, busy just packed Julie's car up for donations. That whole car is filled of everything that's being donated. Plus they went earlier and donated more. They've been going for weeks. I know, it's crazy. Friends. It's so hard when you're moving. What do you do with all your stuff? You just end up donating it. That's what I had to do when I moved out of the PPP house. I have had like no time to do work and stuff. So I'm editing in the car ride right now. So this is the video that you're watching right now. I'm gonna end the vlog now because I still have to unpack this car and have a lot of stuff to do. So I will see you guys soon. And you guys said you wanted to see more stuff with my family. So this is what I've been doing lately. It's just running around like a nut, <laughs> but it's been fun. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I love you guys. Peace. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys. Thank you.